one. Better than last week. That was uh, 502. And I got killed for it. How's everybody today? We got Facebook, Instagram. Welcome to Live at Home with Peter. everybody doing today on this Tuesday? Uh, another live at home concert. I was rushing. Uh, again, I don't know where the hours go. I don't know where the days go. It's uh, playing with my sense of time, this whole thing. Sense of reality, sense of time. Anyway, another week goes by. I saw a lot of you on uh, Friday for the Friday feeling uh, experience extravaganza. Cheers to that. And um, I look forward to getting together like this. I got your song requests. So um, I say it every week, but it's really fun for me to see what you guys uh, want to hear. I mean, some of these songs are taking me back. One of the requests uh, I was looking through yesterday, I was like, oh my God, I wonder where those lyrics are. And I would go through it. It sent me down my own rabbit hole in my folder of songs on my laptop. And I had to get out an old hard drive. Some of the stuff was just written so long ago. And I, uh, I was fascinated by it. And I actually found an alternate set of lyrics. I'm going to share it with you guys for one of your song requests. But you guys don't know that it went through a whole other uh, metamor metamorphosis before the final version 
which uh, which you know. So I'll start with that. I'll, I think I'll start with that song. That request of yours was Take a Good Look. That's a song off my Metropolis album, which is uh, basically a breakup song, um, which are my favorite kind of songs, like the sad songs, the goodbye songs, the what the hell am I going to do with my life songs. I love those songs. But I love the sad songs that have a trace of um, positivity in it. Because for me, that stuff is the most heart-wrenching aspect of a great, sad song. There's some sort of optimism in there. Even though it's cockeyed optimism, that's what pulls at, at the heartstrings. So this song, as you know, it is a breakup song. But after that, I'll share with you the original lyrics that I found, which I also love, I must say. It's a very different storyline, and I'll talk about that more. But, um, yeah, you guys sent me down a hell of a... Hell of a trail yesterday. So let me see if I can get these uh, these lyrics up here. I got it. Well, these are the ones I actually should know. These are the current ones. So this is Take a Good Look. Again, your request, so thanks for submitting them. There's a bunch I want to do that I couldn't do, but I'll do them, I'll do them next week. Anyway, here it is. Sound okay? Can everybody hear me? Oh 
those songs send me down a hell of a hole. Especially that the last image. I tried to write structure that song kind of like a, a, a three act play. Um, so each time the realization of the breakup gets clearer to the, the singer. So he starts saying, you know, uh, I think it's us. Something's off. Something's changed. Then the second verse, come on, you know, it's us. And then by the end, it's I wish it wasn't us. So that was that. And that all happened because the original song of Take a Good Look was called something else. I'll tell you what that is. But it was um, basically a story about older people, um, particularly types that are on the edge of society. And um, a lot of the words were influenced by people I know, people I love, people in my family, people who were blood and some people who were not blood relatives that I came to care about so much. My dad was um, a lot older than my mom when they got married. So I got a chance to experience uh, generations of uh, men and women that I, I think a lot of my peers might not have. And really close time. My cousins were a lot older and their parents were a lot older and my aunts and uncles. So um, I think that that hit home with me a lot. Uh, like, a, you know, a world of people, a type of breed that's no longer really here. So one at a time they go. So that was the original inspiration for this song, this kind of melancholy nostalgia. And I'm going to play you those lyrics. I've never played them before, but I found them again yesterday because of your um, requests. And uh, this was originally called It Ain't What It Was. So this is the same music. You'll see exactly the same, which is kind of an insight to uh, how I write. Sometimes the melody is the melody. And then, like in Goodbye Philadelphia, there was no way that was up for grabs. That was the melody. Some songs aren't like that. Some songs I could flip the melody around the, uh, the words if the words trump, the meaning of the words trump the melody. Anyway, too much talking. This is, it ain't what it was. Now I, I need to look at these words. Let's hear it, let's see if this is, okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I'm trying to look at these comments a little bit. Sound okay, view okay, Instagram. A little better view on Instagram, but trying to make uh, everybody happy here. Yeah, that song, um, I don't know. I had a soft spot for that song because, it. you know, those people, like the first verse was kind of about my uncle in some ways, and the second verse was kind of about my aunt who lost her son at a tragically early age, but she kept it together. Anyway, uh, I could go on and on about that, but thank you all for suggesting that song. It made me remind myself of, uh, of these words, which even in, in this crisis have new meaning, um, particularly on the older set, the vulnerable set of people. And I remember, I'll, I'll stop talking a little bit, uh, but I remember when I brought that in, my producer at the time, uh, said, I don't know, you really want to record a song about old people? After my slight offense and defensive uh, mechanism, which he experienced several times. Um, but I love the guy. I mean, all the producers I've worked with, I've had great relationships with him. But I actually thank him for uh, challenging me to rewrite that. I was pretty attached to that lyric. Uh, but I thank him because now we have like a, I think a more universal love song that a lot of people can relate to. And I'm glad you guys requested it, but maybe we'll release that one day too. It's certainly recorded. So we do have that. I'm going to play for you another song, another request. Um, I may play some of the wrong notes, but what's new? This one was off my first record and my mom wrote the lyrics. I don't know if you guys know that, but I wasn't really writing lyrics um, at that age. And this song was written probably when I was 14 or 15. And I had music coming out, you know, my ears, and I had songs, and I wasn't writing lyrics. It wasn't really, that didn't burst open for me until On the Moon or East of Angel Town. At the end of On the Moon, which I always think was like the bridge between them. But uh, my mom wrote the words to these, um, and uh, I really uh, enjoyed playing this again. It's been years. I raise my glass to our happy ending. I sip my wine to our grand demise. This game we played. Over. 
lovers, secrets, lies. God knows what my mother was going through at the time. At, and now at last, the spell is broken. The truth can now be spoken. Heartache is just a token. Lovers, secrets, lies, no lonely nights to wait and wonder, no secret sights for a rendezvous. job um we're about out of time um i'm gonna give you a little snippet um of oh i forgot to mention i forgot to mention perfect picnic i'm doing this whole tuesday thing in uh let me paste the link again here oh jesus i don't think i have it you know at the end of this i'll paste the link it's at the top and it's at the bottom of the scroll but buy somebody lunch for ten dollars you make a big difference this is an organization supporting all the medical professionals dealing with this insane crisis so you can help the doctors and the nurses and buy somebody a lunch uh for 10 bucks or two two lunches for 20. i think it's pretty good go to perfect picnic and check it out i'll post it at the end of this and i'm also um going to be releasing um the long-awaited heart of the city that some of you may know so that's a new york song i'm actually updating it and revising it and i'm gonna uh make a video and i want uh, all of you if you're in new york or if you have new york footage to submit that footage to me because we're going to put together a video for that song heart of the city and on friday hopefully i will have enough finished um to give you more information we're gonna have a dropbox link spread the word I'd love your New York footage. If it's of you, if it's somebody in the street, if it's a moment, um, just send it on over and um, I will leave you with that. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the requests. Thank you, Perfect Picnic, for everything you're doing. And uh, stay safe and healthy 
and smart. Don't be stupid. Um, thanks again. I'll end with, uh, which is all true every time I hear this song, the heart of the city beats on. And the heart, the heart of the city, Friday feeling with Peter episode God knows what unbelievable how long this has been but I have a lot of fun thanks for joining me and be careful everybody stay safe thanks again